Welcome back. We are here on Nitro looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, March 29, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new, newest videos. And you're welcome to follow us here on Etoro and also copy our trades on Etoro. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at oil. And as you can see, we have rallied up towards the 20 exponential moving average. And at this point, we're basically just, well, it has offered quite a lot of resistance. It has been an absolutely, um, well, mesmerizing week for oil we have broken down nine uh, percent rallied nine percent broke down six percent rallied six percent so it has basically been all over the place we fell all the way down to 57 dollars and now we're trading at 60 dollars and 80. uh technical indicators they are turning around so at this current stage it looks like we are basically going to rally towards the upside but break below these previous lows here, that could open the door all the way down to 53 and 50 and all the way down to the 200 moving average. So we need a break above the 20 exponential um, and basically a closing above the 20 exponential in order to confirm that this basically will go higher. So let's look at natural gas. Yes, so the, 20, the 200 moving average has offered significant support in the um, in this market we have rallied towards the 20 exponential and basically that has offered a lot of resistance we have basically broken down from there so we did not manage to break above the 20 exponential at this current stage we're just sticking around between the 200 and the 20 exponential between uh, 2.54 and then 2.63 taking indicators they are turning around for the um, for natural gas a break above the 20 exponential could open the door to the 50 at 2.7 and then you know if we break above the 50 then we could go significantly higher this is a period of year where usually natural gas prices break down but the 200 moving average is still holding we need to break that before we can go significantly lower so let's look at copper so copper has uh, hit the bottom here at uh, 3.9 and then rallied up towards the middle of the Bollinger Band. Copper has also been trading sideways. It's basically been all over the place the last two weeks. Um, technically, they are turning around, but they are basically all over the place uh, at this current stage. CCI is becoming bullish. The RSI has become bullish, while the other indicators are bearish at this current stage. So if we break above the middle of the bullish band, we could head towards these previous highs at 4.17 or the top of the bullish band at 2. Point, uh, give or take 4.2. Break below here could open the door to the 50 at 3.89. So let's look at gold. So gold is also just sticking around at the 20 exponential. We have tested it now for nearly a week and a half and have not managed to break above it. And usually when... You test something this often it just snaps to the downside we have several ex examples of this for example right here and uh, where we basically just stick around in the same area nothing happens to the upside and then you just collapse so we could head towards the bottom of the bullish band which is at uh, give or take uh, 1700 or the very bottom here at the 1678 technical indicators they are fairly flat at this point but they are still all in uh, bearish territory so let's look at silver. So silver has tested a 200 moving average. We actually broke below the 200 moving average all the way down to 24.40, rallied, and now we're just sticking around just above the 200 moving average. Technical indicators, they are, well, kind of, well, all over the place, to be fair and honest. MACD is bearish, the CCI is, now the stochastic is becoming bullish. The CCI is uh, becoming bullish as well. And the RSI is uh, is basically flat. So if we rally from here, we'll most likely find a resistance at the 200 moving average, no, 20 moving uh, exponential moving average at 25.74, and the, the 200 moving average is offering quite a lot of support at this current stage. So we could just drift in towards a corner here, and then we'll have to rally to the upside or break towards the downside. So let's look at platinum. So platinum has rallied towards the 20 exponential. We're trading at 1181 at this current stage. Technical indicators there are turning around, but the MACD is bearish, the C stochastic is bearish, CCI is becoming bullish, and the RSI is becoming bullish. So there is 
some momentum to the upside, but we still we need to break above the uh, 20 exponential in order to go to these very highs here. Break below these previous candlesticks, that could open the door to give or take 11.27. So let's look at Pallium. So Pallium broke out of uh, uh, this uh, square that we, we've been trading in for several months. Now we're trading at uh, 26.77. Uh, 26 we uh, had this massive rally up towards the 27.41, broke down, traded sideways, and now we have a rally yet again. Technical indicators, they are all bullish for this, but we're getting really close to the top of the bullish band, and we are overbought. So at this current stage, we couldn't expect this to pull back before going higher. So let's look at uh, aluminium. Aluminium as well has hit the top of the bullish band and then basically pulled back. We have seen this move several times. We've seen it here, 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 as well here, as well as here, as now yet again. So the way this has been behaving in recent weeks or basically months is that it has rallied above the bullish band, broken down towards the middle, rallied up towards the bullish band, and so on. Basically, really choppy, gap down, gap up, and so on. So basically all over the place, but 20s exponential has been holding significantly, and um, the top of the bullish band usually means that this will pull back. Technical indicators, they are all fairly bullish at this point, so uh, pull back towards the 2188, that will most likely be bought into. So let's look at nickel. So nickel, um, yes, we had this massive uh, breakdown uh, a few weeks ago, and now we're trading just sideways. And we are have been testing the 20 exponential, but we have not managed to break above that. 200 moving average looks like massive uh, support. Technical indicators, they are all uh, turning to the upside. We're still in negative territory in the MACD. But the stochastic is bullish, the CCI is getting bullish, and the, the RSI is uh, also becoming bullish. We're still underneath zero here in the CCI, so it's still in negative territory. But uh, it's looking more promising. There's more momentum to the upside than there is to the downside for, for nickel at this current stage. So let's look at sugar. So... This is an absolutely uh, terrible market. It has tried to rally in between and then just gets absolutely slaughtered. So on first day, we had this massive breakdown below the uh, bottom of the Bollinger Band. We rallied a little bit and then broke down. Technical indicators, they're all very negative for this. So it looks like the 0 0.15 is going to be tested again. If that breaks, then we could drop all the way down to the uh, to the 200 moving average at 0 0.1414. Rallies towards the 20 exponential that will most likely be sold into. So let's look at cotton. So cotton did break down significantly on Thursday, then rallied on, basically broke down even more on Friday, and then rallied. Now it looks like Yes, after a massive fall like this, especially a candlestick like that, you will have a pullback at least towards the 20 exponential, usually. But technical indicators, they are still, MACD is still bearish. The stochastic is becoming bullish. It crossed the signal line on Friday. CCI is still in very negative territory. And the RSI is a little bit uh, bullish at this current stage. So rallies towards the 20 exponential if we can get there that will most likely be sold into otherwise it looks like that the 200 moving average down here at 0 71 74 is going to be the target at this current stage so let's look at cocoa so cocoa fell towards um, 24 14 uh, 13 and then rallied towards the 200 moving average and then broke down again it is basically doing the same thing we're just trending sideways and it's basically all over the place i would say far away from this checking the indicators they are also all over the place macd is um is a bearish at this point stochastic is becoming bullish cci is bearish and the rsi is basically flat so yes i have not traded this in a long time and the reason for that is because this can go either way it's just a complete gamble so let's look at wheat 
So we continues to drop. Uh, target here will most likely be uh, 600. Break below that. Oh, then then we have the 200 moving average at the moment at 586. It will probably be at around 600 when we basically get to this point. So we'll basically be bouncing off there. But we are in a massive downtrend. Rallies towards the 20 exponential have all been sold into, and that, that will probably continue if we continue if we rally towards a 20 exponential again uh, on Monday. So hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over here on Etero. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.